I remember Deborah talking about that first moment she saw Xena riding over the hill on the horse and her hair flowing and this big warrior. I think that really hit Deborah. I'm not lock her up obsessed. I'm just, you know, fun obsessed. <laughs> Deborah is uh, famous in the Xena community. Dressing up in costume has made me known <laughs> instantly. I'm Deborah Abbott and I live in Austin, Texas. I'm a big fan of Xena Warrior Princess. I can't fit my official Xena leathers right now, but as soon as I have my little warrior, look out. Ah! I was gonna follow you until you were in some jam. The main characters of Xena were Xena and Gabrielle. And Xena was a heroic warrior. And the actress that portrayed her was Lucy Lawless, the beautiful and wonderful actress from New Zealand. Nothing could stand in Xena's way or her path. She could conquer anything that would come her way. The first time I saw Deborah, she was wearing her Xena costume. And that was spectacular. I love Xena. She does that Xena yell. I'm originally from New Orleans, and I grew up around Mardi Gras. We always wore costumes. My husband and, and some of the people that I worked with said, you would make a great Xena. This is my very first costume that I made, and I would freeze frame the television set and sketch the outfit from what I saw on TV. And then I would find belts and jewelry and pieces of leather and piece them together by hand. It took three months to make my costume and I'd work after hours, you know, after I get out of, out of work and then I'd work on my breaks. I remember her sitting there with the uh, calluses on her fingers from stitching uh, leather. My breastplate is made out of plastic bowls with a bra sewing them together with pipe putty on top and wooding siding for uh, the edges of your walls in your home. Wire hangers, and then carefully cut out pieces of leather, which I did by hand, and I riveted them myself as well. My knee pads with official hockey boot pads, and then I extended leather on them with rivets to make it look like the official Xena costume. And my gauntlets, all handmade and stitched. And once she puts that Xena wig on, I was like, whoa. I was wearing the costume and I was stopped for pictures and I was invited into restaurants to eat for free. At the beginning, I know she really got mobbed. She'd wear it to places like uh, Renaissance festivals and couldn't hardly walk. People would come up to her wanting photos. I enjoy take, meeting people, taking pictures and uh, people wanting to take my picture. <laughs> uh, she's a ham. The first time I was in front of an audience in a costume, I was scared to death, and then I won. As soon as I won, this feeling came over me like, that was fun, I want to do that again. I want to win some more prizes. I know what makes me feel comfortable wearing costume is because I become somebody I'm not, and I just love being people that I'm not. But convention still, people, they look forward now to seeing what Deborah's going to wear and you know, what costume she's going to make next. I don't think I'll ever stop wearing costumes, even when I'm 90. Every year I like to create a new film for the Xena convention so um, fans can, can enjoy them. And this year I didn't really have anything in mind of what in the world I'm going to do because we've done almost everything. When I wiggle my hip that means for you to move. Gotcha. Because I can't talk. Okay. So I came up with Aphrodite. She's a Xena character. Then why were you in a bottle? An evil war god put a curse on me to be stuck in a stinky old bottle for 300 years. I wanted to incorporate my, my pregnancy. And then I'm like, I have a way of bringing Xena back into it. Xena is going to be the baby in my body. <laughs> one healthy baby coming up. The little one will be as strong as a warrior. I didn't feel anything. Most of the ideas from our films come from my head. <laughs> I have a lot of weird brainstorming ideas and most of the ideas come when, I, when I'm walking. And then uh, these ideas click. I write them down on whatever napkins I have in my car after my walk and I, I'll call Wendy and I said, I have this idea, we need to make it into a film. I thought you said they couldn't see us.